Hello, good evening. This is Diecast Luna. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to that episode of Vintage Diecast Monday episodes. And as I said earlier in a previous video, I'd be doing a bit of a matchbox showcase this evening. A bit of a no-brainer, a bit of an easy one. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. I've got a case here with about 12 cars in. I've done this before. I've got loads and loads of these cases of cars. And I just picked one out. I have shown these cars at some point before, but I thought, why not? It's always cool to see how I store them, how they're packaged away. And like I said before, in, a, in many, many episodes back now, I have not that long ago recently changed. I've actually got a walk-in, quite a large cupboard now. It's quite big, where I've got all, all quite nicely set up cars, easy to get to. But anyway, less chat and more show. So we will open... I've got the hair on there. More... Uh, less, ch less chat, start again, and more shows. Let's open up and take a look at the first piece that is wrapped up in this little plastic bag. This is how I store them. A lot of the loose stuff this is how I store a lot of my loose cars. So all these cars are what I like to call in play, not play worn, that's a lie. They're all in survivor, what I like to call survivor condition. Um, and some of them are near to mint. But uh, this is an awesome little Jeep, little Willys Jeep from, I suspect, the later 80s, near towards the end of Matchbox itself before it's swapped over. But uh, I'm just trying to remember for the gun on this one that actually doesn't. No, this one doesn't. This one just swivels. I've got most of the cars to this set, but I've only, obviously, I'm just going through the box, so that's why it's on its own. But I have got... Uh, I've got the field gun. I've got, uh, oh, I've got, like I said, most of the ones in this set on this sort of dark green uh, look to them. And as I said before in the beginning of the video, all of these pieces are what I call survivor cars. And what what survivor is? It's like the middle of the road of 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 um, condition. So you've got play worn, and you've got different levels of play worn, and then you've got Something that's been open, something that you can see has been played with or stuck on a shelf or loved, but it's managed to pretty much stay intact. And then you've got box condition. And that's how I categorise my cars. That's just how I do it. And like you can see, it is in really quite nice condition. Has its gun, has its paper sticker. And I'm going to change my light setting. Just bear with me. Let's see if that helps at all. I've got a bit of dark shadow going on a bit. But it is in pretty good condition. So there you go. It has got 78 copyright on the original casting. But like I said, this was more like early 80s when this particular piece or this particular series came out. So I put that to one side, just over there. And move the little plastic bag. Uh, no order, just going to grab the next car that's to hand. So this is, I believe... It is a Cadillac ambulance, which again, I've got a few of these in the collection. And I thought I'd just mention all of these have come <clears throat> from either flea markets or car boot sales, which actually at the moment there is not very many of because of the weather. But uh, so this this you could you could class again, I'm gonna say a survivor car, but you could class it as play worn or good use condition. Mr. Isaac's little. Now these, I believe, these were transferred on in the back in the day, and then the, then they sort of went from transfers to stickers. They sort of went back and forth a little bit, from what I've seen. But you get the idea. It's still in pretty nice, showable condition. Separate piece there for the uh, little, little, little uh, light there, and I can't remember if these lights. That I think these are. Yeah, they look to be dark red as well. They look to be dark red. And that's the thing, what people don't realise with some of these older castings. They were very detailed. Matchbox was very detailed models. If you'd put, you know, if you if you coloured these, and which some of them did have, but if you had, you know, painted details back and front, um, these were very, very detailed. They did go, they did do very good jobs with their cars. Matchbox was always known for its um, quality and detail for, for, for not a lot of money, really. 
back when they were new. This one's a, a, a later, I think this is like mid to late 60s on this one. I'm not sure it's sure. I don't think it's got a copyright on this. But there you go. It just says Made in England by Lesney. Matchbox series. I can't quite see it. Number 54. So that's C and G Cadillac ambulance on the plain wheeled variation. So pretty cool. Let's move that to one side and move the bag and grab the next piece. So this looks like if you're from the UK, we call them bin trucks, dust dust carts is what they used to call them in the olden days back in the 60s. Um, come on, I can't get it open. I know in the States, I think they call these refuse trucks. I think this one might be called the refuse truck. There it is. And like I said, again, car boot find, pretty much mint, almost mint condition. And again, I had one pretty much identical to this as a child, but I think the one I had wasn't this colour. I can't remember what the colour of mine was. I think it might have been a green cab. There's done many, many variations of this. And obviously you pull this piece there and pushes out all the rubbish and as a little kid you'd tear up bits of paper bits of matchstick throw it in the back and then out it would be pushed and i'm not quite sure i think this is uh yeah it's still lesney but again right probably right at the end 79 copyright but like i said i'm, I'm sure this is a later edition there you go metro dpw 66 very cool got the typical 70s color bizarre color windows so that's piece number three again just grab them as i find it i think this is the fantastic and the reason for the little baggies is just so they don't rattle around these cars are old and they lose their paint very easily but this is the fantastic i believe which is Based on the, basically it's uh, Matchbox, took it from the Mustang, so I don't know if you can see it, it's always there in the background. The piston popper, or it's, yeah, that Rollomatics piston popper, um, this, and the Boss Mustang, I believe, are all very similar durations, and obviously slightly different change, but they're basically the same design, just different cast differently, obviously. I don't know if Mustang ever actually made an estate car or not. I can't remember if I... I think I have seen one once online. But I think that it might have been something that was mocked up. I'm not quite sure. But again, this is the Vantastic. Again, it's 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 in what I like to call survivor condition. Has the paper stickers there. Some come with stickers. Some come without. But it is a cool model. Big wheels. There you go. 1975. Copyright. So pretty cool. That is a van. It's a fantastic, isn't it? I'm getting that right. Yeah, fantastic. Next piece is, I believe, a Lotus racing car, which still has its original tyres, amazingly, as they always usually lose their tyres because the tyres, I don't know how it does it as time goes on. They seem, I'm not sure if it's the hubs that shrink or if it's the tyres that seem to get bigger i'm not quite sure but it has got its tires and usually they just fall off but these ain't too bad on this still has its paper sticker still has its driver and it's funny it almost looks so i'm just gonna like i said i've done this before no it is metal but it almost looks like a plastic body but it is it is metal and again this is from the 60s so there you go can't quite Lisney Matchbox series made in England, work with stuff number 19 Lotus. And I've also got somewhere I've actually got the, the um transport, the I suppose you could call it like a team transport, the transport truck that would that would come. You could um I think back in the day you could get them separately or they could come as a as a pack. I can't remember now, but I have actually got the, the uh, truck that you would see this with squirreled away. So very cool. The next piece, I believe, is the Lincoln Continental. If I can undo the packet. And this is probably the tattiest one. 
in the bunch i got this one back when i really started to just so back a few years ago when i decided to start collecting vintage matchbox a lot of the pickings before i knew what i was doing really doing um i was picking up a lot of play worn stuff and i was happy with that because for the first sort of year or two of collecting vintage stuff i just didn't ever see i think a lot of this because i didn't know where to look um so this to me was actually quite tidy compared to what some of the stuff i was picking up um like i said this is probably the most play worn one but I, I think a lot of this is just when it's so when it's moved from stall to stall they do knock off on these earliest sort of late 60s 70s castings they do it does just knock off the payments paint was very thin but nonetheless it is all there it does still have its suspension it still rolls really nice so no bent axles it does have an opening boot so it is a very nicely done car it's on the transitional wheels so this is probably about 1969 1970 because uh, they didn't do the wheels for very long they, they like I said that's what they're called the transitional wheels because they started off very thin and then they got wider and wider so very cool and if you find i believe it is this particular not this particular casting but if you ever find one of these in sea foam green with the plain wheels on they're worth a lot a lot of money i think one was sold at auction for about thirteen thousand pounds but they are very very rare to find by all accounts so that is the lincoln upside down continental Next piece is the, I know it's a, I'm actually looking now, I think it's a Dodge Charger, I believe. Is it a Dodge Charger? Yeah, Mark III. It's quite an unusual looking car. I wonder if it's a, if it's a concept based on a concept car. But again, this is another one from a flea market, has this really outrageous opening sort of clamshell to it and you can see this car does just sort of scream the late 60s early 70s obviously done in a like a magenta color i believe with the green base so very cool and again in great survivor condition so let's move that bit of bag out of the way try and get through a bit quicker now because this video is i don't want to hit 20 minutes particularly try and keep you lot without getting too bored so this is a porsche 917 i believe this is one of my favorite ones in this particular pack i think i've shown this one quite a few times before so a little look so we two matchbox series number 68 porsche 910 sorry 910 and again really great color still Paper sticker is in pretty good condition. The screen, the car in general is a very good survivor car. Obviously, it's got a few chips and dings, as this car is from about 1970. Uh, nine, well, I'd say more like 1971-ish. Got the slightly thicker wheels, and you've got the what I call the knife edge wheel. So you've got the bead. I get some extra zoom, and you can see that's where the basically the car would run on that little bead on the edge there. And then they they sort of experimented with wheels. You had them where they ran on that bead. You had them where they had a bead in the centre. I don't think the early super fast wheels had a bead on it. So a little look. Oh, it's got a slight taper. But there was obviously a reason they swapped it out. And the wheels got thicker and thicker and thicker. I mean they ended up like that at one point. Which they did still roll fairly well but i think the wheels that rolled the best were from about the mid 70s when they were a bit wider and the bead moved to the middle but uh, anyway just to zoom back out that is the porsche 910 i believe yeah 910 and again none of these cars cost more than a couple of pounds each so this one here is a dodge cattle truck i believe obviously without its cattle i do have this downstairs another version of this in my display case downstairs i believe it is a yellow dodge truck with the cows in the back but this is a slightly i believe this is an older variant i'm not quite sure it's a little look so it says made in macau so it's not 
probably this ain't the original original version there you go cattle truck i'm trying to remember i don't think they did yeah they yeah they, they, there's quite a few variations of this i've got a couple but these flaps on the original ones and the later ones always used to snap off and it still has its flaps i don't think they some of them came with toe itches some didn't but pretty cool red glass so that is the cattle truck this was a cool piece or is a cool piece shall i say and it is the caravan or a caravan if i can get it out of its little bag and again i've got quite the vintage caravan collection coming on which is always cool but this is the one i had as a child this particular exactly like this one so again i was happy to find one in the wild there's a slight crack across that screen but again it was cheap it wasn't expensive i think it was only a pound when i bought it at car boot sale it still has its opening door which is a bit stiff there you go and that is pretty much what caravans were like like i said these are toys but they were very well made toys again screaming that sort of 70s vibe and it just says number 31 caravan made in england same year i was born so pretty cool i'm just looking if i've got any cars here with tow hitches on which i don't think i have at the minute i don't think it'll fit on the back of that truck but uh i've paired this up in many cars and done videos on it but anyway pretty cool very cheap in great condition getting there getting towards the end so this one is a mustang i think it's based on the original 65 ford mustang i believe i'm trying to think which one was which one was first was there a mustang before this one i can't remember if there was a mustang before this i don't think there was brain switched off you have to forgive me but it is very cool and again this is becoming quite the rare car and you find one of these in really good condition they'll set you back up to 100 pounds they are getting quite rare and again this wasn't expensive i paid a couple of pounds for it the steering mechanism does still work you can even push it with that if you want to do it that way it has its tires these were so this is from about the mid 60s i believe mid to late 60s about 66 something like that 66 67 again i've forgotten the dates but this is a hub and i believe they were like a brass hub with a coating on it and then you had this like hard plastic tire it wasn't a rubber tire but pretty cool and i was just trying to think what came first I'm not, I can't remember what came first now. Uh, I think these might have been before the black wheels, possibly. But again, I can't remember. But somebody, it looks like somebody's drilled a little hole through the rear windscreen. I don't know why. Very bizarre. But you just don't know what anybody could have done. This, Like I said, this is from the mid-60s or later 60s. So it is an old toy. So it's held up pretty well. And it has a tow hitch. So... There you go, we can display with a trailer. And obviously the idea is you'd push it along and you'd turn that and you'd push it. So, pretty cool. And again, it wasn't expensive and it's in great play, well not play warm, but survivor condition. Last piece, and I probably picked this up a couple of months ago. And it is this Douglas Tipper. And again, I've got many variations of this. They did do, when I say variations, I mean as in this cab. They did this cab, this AEG and the Leyland version on quite a few trucks back in the day. Um, I think the pipe truck, they did a pipe truck, which I have. They did the horse box truck, which is the same truck as this, which I have. And this is the Douglas and I believe they might have made a super fast version in yellow, which would be always cool to find. But for some reason, the super fast version, mainly because the early super fast, they only, so they used existing castings and they chucked on these new style wheels and then they only did it for a year. So that's why they are rarer. There's lots of these around because these were made for a few years. 
and when obviously when they turned into the early super fast the transitional super fast so these would have all had the narrow super fast then they updated the castings and started doing different castings that were made to take the super fast wheels so anything that's super fast from transitional period from the old casting to the new if that makes sense they didn't make many of or at least they were when i say didn't make many of they weren't made for so long so it still has its little flap which is always quite cool it does stay up because there's a little piece of plastic and you can just feel you can feel if you've never felt one of these the quality as you can see it just stays up and this is from the late 60s sort of about 68 and it's still really good condition bit of flea bites paint might have faded slightly there was some other colours of these. This wouldn't have been, I don't know if you want to call it, what you want to call it, like a light, dark, like a dark pink or an orange or red, orangey red. But anyway, the video has gone long enough. I didn't really want to crack 20 minutes. But I hope you lot haven't been too bored. I don't know if I can get all the cars into shop. But anyway, Christmas is getting ever closer. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be buying. I'm going to try and have a look to see if I can get some more newer vintage pieces to show because, as, like I said, it is getting close to Christmas. But anyway, with that, please like, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more vintage Diecast Monday episodes where I cover Corgi, Majorette, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, you name it. If it's old, I will cover it. And uh, stay tuned for more restorations, restoration giveaways, is what I'm going to call it and premium pieces and with that i'll see you all very soon thanks for watching take care